Today we want to talk about Bolt.diy and which new features it has. So one of them is the new deployment option for Vercel. So I will show you in a second. Another feature in the current main branch is here in the chat UI. So you now can manage your open chats and select multiple chats here and delete the ones you don't like anymore. So let's just try this out. Yes, we want to delete these two and they are gone. Okay, the next thing here in the connections, if we scroll down, we already know Netlify from one of my last videos. If you didn't see it, check it out here on top. And there is a new option for the cell connection. So to get this running, you have to do or you have to go to get your token on the Vercel page. I'm already logged in. If you are not logged in, log in. Then you come to this page and you can create a new token here. Let's create a new token for YouTube. In my case, choose your project space and you can choose the expiration date as well. I choose one day and create it. Then you get your token. You can just copy it by clicking this icon, go back to bold, paste it in, and you are now connected. Let's build a web app here. So I'm on open router here, a model selected. Let's do a clone of Dynamus AI here. So I just do a screenshot of this web page so we can build a clone of it. Go back to Bolt, paste it in, build a clone of this website, and let's see what we get. I'm not connected to Git, that's why we get this um, warning. So it does not use a starter template, but it doesn't matter for this case. Okay, in a few seconds, it's hopefully done. So in the meantime, you can quickly go back to Dynamus AI. If you don't know what it is, it's a private community started by Cole. And yeah, if you're interested in a private community where you can learn all about AI mastery, then check it out and join the waitlist. Okay, now it is done. Our website is built and looks pretty good almost like the, the original, some icons missing, but for our use case to deploy it on Vercel, it looks very good. Okay, here on top, you now got the Vercel option. So the others are grayed out because I'm not connected and Cloudflare is not done yet, but hopefully coming soon as well. Then we click deploy on Vercel. And as you can see here on the left, there's also a new style for the deployment. It's also for Netlify, I guess. So you can directly see here the state of your deployment and a link to your deployed site. So let's click this. And as you can see here, it's deployed. Everything is done and yeah, we got our website deployed on Vercel. We can now go back to bolt.diy and maybe change what we can change. There's no footer. Let's add a footer. Add a footer to the website. We can dismiss this so we don't need it. And then we can do a deployment again and see if it updates correctly. Now it is here. Okay, now we got our footer as well. So that's also working. Perfect. Another quick thing I want to show you is here in the settings, data management. There are now 
new options for exporting your data. So you can export all your chats that was there before, but I think the export all settings and also the export all your API keys was not there. So this is also new as well as some data usage statistics here as well. Okay, back to the start page. Maybe a few of you saw that there's a strange model called Quasar Alpha, which I used to build the clone. So let's quickly check this out on Open Router. Here we go. And as you can see, it has a 1 million token context. It's free at the moment. It's good at programming, marketing, SEO, and translation. And we got here some more information. It's a cloaked model, which means we don't know actually what it is from which provider. It could be everything from Gemini, so Google, or maybe OpenAI, DeepSeek, we don't know. But what we know, it's pretty fast, has a pretty big context, pretty large output token of 32K. And yeah, it's pretty fast as you saw. So what do you think what it is? Let me know in the comments. Okay, that was it for the main part of this video. But what I quickly want to show is what the team is also working on, which is the new AI SDK version 4.2. And if you're interested in, you can check out this PR. We are listed some new features that are implemented. And what it also can do, it's not already in this PR, are, I guess, but with this new version, it is possible to implement MCP clients as well. So hopefully we get this in the near future for our bolt.ary as well. So stay tuned and hope to see you in, in the next one. Bye.